Hi, everybody. Here we are once again. It's time for our encouraging words together. Thanks for taking a moment out of your schedule to just devote to a moment of prayer and reflection in God's word as we offer him our hearts, as we turn to him. We can find life as we recognize his lordship, as we submit to his ways. We can know that uh, the Lord is for us and not against us. He loves each of us with an everlasting love. And no matter who we are or what we're going through, he's here to help. It's a good chance for us right now to spend this moment together. I want to share with you in just a moment a scripture verse that was sent over to us by our associate chaplain, Mary Myrink. It comes from First Thessalonians. Uh, try it again. First Thessalonians. Thessalonians were the people that lived in Thessalonica. That's part of Greece and uh, that Macedonian area, really. And uh, during um, Paul's missionary journeys, he helped establish a church there. But there were some rough days in the start of that. They were there sharing the gospel, sharing the good news of Jesus. But some troublemakers came along and started a riot, drove them out of town. And this fledgling group of believers were kind of left on their own for a little bit. And yet they persevered. They endured. They faced that opposition with, uh, with just tremendous grace and overcame. And so Paul would later write to them a couple of letters to encourage that, that church, to strengthen them, to help them keep going and stay rooted and established in the faith. And the verse that Mary sent over, us, uh, over for us today is uh, chapter 1 and verse 7. He's commending them for standing strong. He's commending them for enduring persecution. And this is what Paul says, a simple little statement. He says, You became an example to all the believers in Macedonia and in Achaia. The whole region was uplifted and strengthened because here was a people that would not quit in the face of opposition. You know, life had been hard, and uh, it was a struggle to overcome the opposition they faced. They had been through a radical transformation. These are not people who were steeped in a history of worshiping the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They were pagans. They worshiped idols. They followed after false gods. They were given over to the Greek mythologies and and various concepts that uh, were associated with that. And through the ministry of Paul, had opened their hearts to receive Christ, and everything had become new. They were new believers in Jesus. They um, had experienced real transformation that came from God. It was like night and day compared to who they were and who God was making them to be. Not everybody around them appreciated that change, and so they were persecuted by those who misunderstood or those who felt threatened. You know, sometimes when we become healthier, it becomes a threat to those in our environmental system that uh, are making some of the old choices that we used to make. If we get better, it kind of sends its own message. They can too. There is a way out, but not everybody wants to change. In Thessalonica, the transformation they were undergoing was powerful, was real, was life-changing. And now this persecution had broke out against them, and they were enduring. And yet, there's something about their lifestyle that impacted all the people around them in the surrounding region. The fact that they wouldn't quit, the fact that they they didn't give up, that they endured, that they apparently did so with uh, a sense still of peace and God's joy sustaining them. Their difficulties were real, but so was the presence of God that was reaching out to make a difference. And as they lived out their faith and did their best to honor God in the midst of that, not only did God strengthen them, not only did he encourage them and bless them, but they became an example to believers all over the region then and also to us today. And through their example, we are meant to persevere as well, to hold on to the Lord, to trust him for better days. You feel like you're in the midst of a hard and difficult time today? The Lord has not given up on you. May we follow the example of these Thessalonian, uh, the Thessalonian, try it again, Thessalonian believers. 
got it right the third time. May we follow their example and persevere in our trust and in our faith. You know, you can always bring your concerns to the Lord. He cares about them. We can intercede and offer prayers for others that are going through difficulty, uh, difficult times. He honors those prayers. He works through them to bring about his purpose and his will. The Lord is on our side because he loves us. And as we commit ourselves to him, to his ways, to the lordship of Jesus, as we choose that we're going to prioritize the Lord and his purpose and plan, we can know that we have his sustaining strength to help us endure. Persevere today. Hold on to the Lord. Hold fast to your trust in him. Know that he is ever with you. And who knows, he may just use your relationship with him as an example to help others endure as well. All right, with that thought, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for hearing our prayer today. I thank you for coming alongside each and every person. When we face persecution, we never have to do so alone. You are there with us. And Lord, for those that are tired in this journey of life, either through physical limitations or emotional struggles or spiritual needs or, or concerns or relational issues that come up, all the stuff of this life that tends to bring a weariness. Lord, I thank you that there is real strength that comes from you. And I pray that you would cause that strength to come through and endure. And just as you sustained those members of the the Church of Thessalonica, these Thessalonians, as you stayed them, uh, uh, stayed with them, as you helped them to endure, as you enabled them to overcome, we thank you for your divine presence that rests even with us today that helps us through. We confess our need of you, Lord. We can't do this without you. Bring your hope, your strength, your endurance, and cause us to persevere until your purposes are accomplished. Thanks for hearing our prayer. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Whew, thanks for putting up with that there. I felt a little tongue-tied along the way. I'm doing this late in the afternoon and I've had a full day, but I am persevering. Let's all persevere as we follow after the Lord. Thanks so much for tuning in. Here at Friendship Village, we work hard to show you encouraging videos three times a day. This video will air at 4.30 in the afternoon on channel 2493. It repeats at 8 o'clock at night and then once again 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. We do that every day, Monday through Friday. On Sunday, we encourage you to come and join us in one of our services, 9.30 in our assisted living or skilled nursing building and uh, 1045 in the independent living chapel we'd be glad to have you but you can also access these encouraging word videos and the live stream of all of our services on our youtube page simply go to youtube.com backslash the at symbol f v c chaplain and you're able to to link in and connect with us Look at many of our videos from our past history or our live stream streams. You not only can see the recordings, you can catch us live when those events happen as well. So good to spend this moment with you. If you're watching online, you might want to send today's link to this video to someone in order to encourage them. Thank you for considering that. If you'd like to subscribe to these videos, you can click on the circle right here or on the box below to see any in our past history. Have a great day in the Lord. We'll see you next time.